A line array is basically a bunch of identical speakers stacked on top of each other to form a line. But why exactly do we use line arrays, and how are they different from normal audio systems? There is actually a very old and solid scientific theory behind a line array, and here's how it works. Let's say we've got a point in an empty space that is emitting sound waves. Now, of course, these sound waves will be travelling away from the point equally in all directions, forming effectively the shape of a sphere around that point. When you're very close to the point, close to the sound source, the sound will be very loud, and when you're very far away, the sound will be very quiet. That's because loudness, also known as intensity, is the amount of power per square metre. When you're very close to that point, you get all the power from the sound source, which is quite a lot, and it's spread out across a very tiny surface area, which means lots of power per square metre, so the sound will be loud. When you're very far away from the point, on the other hand, the amount of power will be exactly the same, but it's now spread out across this massive sphere, which means way more surface area, in other words, the sound will be way quieter. Now you might expect that moving twice as far away from the sound source means the sound will be twice as quiet. But that is not the case, because the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the radius squared. And if you work out that bit of maths, you'll find out that moving twice as far away makes the surface area 4 times as large. In other words, moving twice as far away from the sound source makes the sound 4 times as quiet. Now, let's see what happens if we replace the point-shaped sound source with the line-shaped sound source. A line-shaped sound source emits sound like a cylinder. And now that might not seem like a very big deal, but realise this. The curved area of a cylinder is 2 pi times the radius times the height. And if you work out that bit of maths, you'll find out that moving twice as far away now means you get twice the surface area. In other words, moving twice as far away means the sound is going to be twice as quiet, instead of four times as quiet uh, like you had with the sphere. So a line-shaped sound source is more efficient than a point-shaped sound source, and it can reach a larger audience, potentially, using the same amount of power. We humans have been trying to create line sources of sound for a long time, and first we did that using the column loudspeaker, and now we do it using line arrays. So by using speakers that are positioned really close to each other in a line, we can create a line source of sound. Well, obviously it won't be as perfect as the one in the theoretical world, but you can get pretty close. Now, because the line array is kind of like a line source of sound, it can reach a larger audience using the same amount of power. And also it can provide better, more consistent sound quality throughout the entire audience. But anyway, now you know what a line array is and how it's different from a normal speaker system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.